It's, it's just your instincts. You have to trust your instincts. Your instincts make you different than everybody else. And the only way to do that, the only way to trust your instincts is to do the work. You know what I mean? Like, you have to have the work. You have to have the words. You have to have, you know, the intention, uh, what you're doing, things like that. You, you have to have that as, like, second nature so that your instincts can just fully take over. And, and the, the scariest thing about following the instincts is that you have no idea what's going to happen. You know, but the, the greatest decisions come out of that. You fail from it, too, you know, but, you know, you also have the most memorable scenes and the most memorable moments from following the instincts. And then, but that, that, that also crosses over into life in a way where, you know, you have the instinct to love something, you have the instinct to have the drive for something, and you have to follow that. No matter what the odds say, no matter what logic says, you have to say to yourself, I can do that. And when everybody says you can't, and when your pocket says you can't, you still gotta be like, yes, the hell I can, and you still do it anyway. And then all of a sudden you get a life-changing phone call, you know, and then you gotta continue to prove yourself. A lot of people think that, you know, knowing people uh, gets you places and stuff like that, but. You, in order to know the people, those people, you have to, you have to show them what you know, you know. So they always say, you know, it's not what you know is who you know. I'm like, hell no, it's, it's, it's what you know that gets you to know who those, you know, who you know. So that was a lot of you knows in that little sentence. Right there. Oh, that's the person that you know, you know. So, um, so that's that's like the biggest thing. I just tell everybody, earn it, because when you go into an audition room or you go on set. Wherever you go, you have to feel like you've earned it, like you put in the work behind it, so nobody can tell you you did not do a good job. Don't listen to anybody else. Listen to those instincts. Your instincts know when you did a good job. You know, when you feel like you've earned it, there's no luck. I hate when people are like, you lucky. Like, no, I'm blessed, but I earned where I'm at. You know, Michael Jordan didn't just get MVP because he was lucky. You know, he earned that right to get the, the, to be called uh, most valuable player. You know, so once you've earned it, then you know that there was no luck that took you there. You took yourself there. You know, you just gotta trust in yourself. Follow those instincts. So this is the next question. This sort of goes out to Josh and Adam Butcher. Adam started off acting um, at a very, very, very young age as a, as a kid actor. Um, and basically Excel has been in the game for a good minute now. And Josh, as well, who started off at a very, very young age. My question to both of you is, is that what would you say um, is the... Because, again, obviously in Josh, with daytime television, there's so many changes, there's so many um, ins and outs of actors that come and go because they can't make the cut. Because, obviously, the difference, if you guys don't know, the difference between us in prime time and the respect I have for guys like Josh who are in daytime is that when we have time to basically process a script, we have time to sort of sit back, digest it. Where in daytime, these guys shoot about basically 40 to 50 scripts of dialogue a day. And they have one take to get it right. So it's a lot of pressure for a lot of actors who are in the business. A lot of actors, in a sense, can't necessarily make that cut. So Josh, what would you say that has made your longevity in the business um, your tool in the sense of like lasting this long in the business for so long? Uh, well, to be quite frank... Besides being a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> I have a pretty big deal. Uh, now, I got so lucky to be... I mean, I know we're not just two... But no, I got lucky in a sense... You're not lucky, Josh, you're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. Okay, so... I, my, the, I was in college, in my third audition, I screen tested for a role on Bold and Beautiful. And I did not get it, and it was the most crushing phone call I ever got in my life because I kind of saw this life-changing moment, like, right in front of me. And I didn't get it. And if you watch, does anyone watch Bone the Beautiful? Yeah. Okay, do you remember the role of Dylan? Yeah. Dylan Neal? Dylan? Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, so it could have been him. No, no, he and I screen tested for that role for like eight hours. And I didn't get it. And it, it hurt me bad because I... I was so close to this amazing job, and uh, I remember like being super bummed about it.